Right now I'm going to look at how to use uh, Tinkercad's circuits environment to code a micro bit to control a servo motor. So in your uh, Tinkercad page here, you'll just find circuits and I'm going to hit create new circuit. And over here you'll see a bunch of components um, that you can um, code and hook up and wire and simulate, including the Arduino and today the micro bit. So I'm going to drag out a micro bit and with it selected there if i wanted to i could change its color and the other thing we need is a micro servo and um, i'm going to select that and we're using i'm going to use uh, instead of positional which are 180 degrees of motion or movement i'm going to use a continuous servo and so it's going to show me a wheel to indicate that and then i can simulate the wiring um, so Let's start with uh, brown for the ground connection, the negative, and uh, I'm going to use an alligator clip. And if I just mouse over the ground pin here, um, it gives me a clip and then I can see, all right, that would be signal, power, and ground. So I want to connect there. I give myself a little more room. But so students can really see um, how the wiring is meant to work. Next will be um, the three volts. So again, mouse over and find the correct spot for that. And then we're going to do the signal wire on pin zero, um, which is the default in the code. So, and if you um, miswire these, um, then the code actually won't uh, work in the simulator. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to make myself a little more room. Um, in the simulator, I'm going to get a button A uh, input here. And then for the output, I'm going to hit output drawer. And I'm going to go down to rotate servo on pin 0 uh, to 0 degrees. And if I then start simulation up here, um, now when I click button A, the servo wheel will, will spin. So I'll stop the simulation. And how this works is that uh, uh, for to control a, a continuous servo, zero would be full speed in one direction, and then uh, 90 would be stopped, and 180 would be full speed in the opposite direction. So I'm going to control click on uh, that input there. To duplicate it, I'm going to say button B. Uh, let's have that go 180 in the opposite direction. Control click to duplicate. And I'm going to say buttons A and B will be 90 degrees, which should be um, stopped. And again, I'm going to come up here and click Start Simulation. And here's my one direction. Stop and the other direction, stop in my simulator. Um, I'll stop the simulation and uh, to actually load this code on the micro bit, I would uh, click download and then just drag it um, over onto the micro bit in my uh, finder window. Um, another neat aspect, a really neat aspect of circuits is that I can uh, go here and select blocks and text and now I've got uh, this version of Python that is showing me my, uh, uh, my blocks code as it would appear in Python. So if I go, say, to basic and I add smiley face, the Python immediately updates, which is really neat. Um, if I actually want to code in Python, so you can imagine having, say, this window open and then um, having the same project, but then opening it with text and here I would lose the the blocks that's why I might want to have it open in two windows so I have if I'm trying to learn but here I've got um, uh, my Python code again if I can start the simulator and press a now I get the smiley face and the, the wheel spins and then I can stop the simulator and then um, go in and um, do a little 
code based on what I'm, I'm learning from above there. And now if I start the simulation, I can see that button B gives me a sad face. So you can really imagine students, uh, you know, having a lot of fun with um, transitioning or back and forth learning from uh, their blocks how to how to uh, use text-based um, coding. So here's another quick example of a program I could run. Um, here I'm using the light level input, so the LEDs are photosensitive, and I'm saying if the light goes below 110, then rotate the servo. Else if it's above 110, that is, then stop the servo. Um, and to figure out what my uh, light level is, um, I might say, where am I? I might get a on button A, and I'm gonna grab this light level input, and under outputs, I would get a show number, and the number I wanna show is whatever my light level is. So now if I start the simulation, I could find out Okay, the light level is 128, right, in the simulator. And, and you can see that right here. If I slide it down below 110, my servo spins. And again, if I, I could see what my light level is, 104, right? Um, and so again, if I loaded this program onto my micro bit, I'm gonna be able to just uh, you know, cover the micro bit with my hand or, or otherwise, uh, dim it, and that's going to um, initiate the servo motion, which is a pretty neat input. All right, well, there's our quick look at circuits um, to control a micro bit and um, it, in this really neat simulation environment um, and to get servos moving with circuits. Thanks.